always worth looking at these international matches. Yeah, and it, it will be interesting to see how the players react because one or two new to the international scene, so nerves might play a part. Uh, you either settle quickly for your country or it takes a bit of time. We'll see what's the case here. Our main match for you today sees Spain against Switzerland. Well, this is a match-up between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed, and we have got some quality players to enjoy out there today, but, uh, as you say, not all of them have played together too often, so there might be a slight lack of understanding at times. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. Here's the Switzerland lineup. Granit Xhaka starts with Balon Parami in the centre of the pitch. Harris Seferovic is the lone striker today. Off we go. Kamani Chaka. Mehmedi. That's good movement forward here. Now, here is a chance for them. That's even better play to stop the chance. And it's with Vitolo. Here's a Vitolo. Diego Costa. In towards Silva. Diego Costa! Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal and the celebrations reflect that the supporters are going crazy it's a terrific moment for the team he's beaten the goalkeeper but only just it went in off the keeper well I think it was just a pair on the ball Martin it was too much for him good look here again by the replay of the goal Spain have got the lead then. Berami. Harris Seferovic. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And now Iniesta. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Jordan Shakiri. And it's with Vitola. Diego Costa with Iniesta. Got to be. Iniesta, that's a collector's item, that one.
There he was, and very, very coolly taken. Talk about passing the ball into the net. Well, there is a prime example. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Berami. Mehmedi. Chaka. Diego Costa. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Now Vitolo. Aimed at Diego Costa. It's wonderful work from the goalkeeper again from the header. Well, he was on his toes, he was very fit. Good stop. Iniesta. Strong challenge. Jordi Alba. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Jordi Alba. Here's a Vitolo. Iniesta stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Iniesta, here's a chance to attack. Well, he's away from his marker now. Well, he clears the danger. And it's a throw for Spain. Carvajal. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Good defensive clearance there. And now Iniesta. They've got numbers in this. And here's the shot. Well, he's tried for his second goal of the game. Keepers got the better of him this time. Well, you thought there was only one winner there, but in the end it was the, the keeper that came forward and did the business. And now Iniesta. Diego Costa. And it's with Vitolo. And shoots! Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Sergio Busquets. Turn pass. Iniesta. Spain who benefit from the advantage rule. Iniesta. Now he's looking for support. It's Jan Sommer who makes the save look easy. It was pretty easy, in truth. Admir Mehmedi. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Sergio Busquets. Two minutes left. That's added time. Diego Costa. Running in behind now. David Silva. David Silva played in here. Iniesta. Iniesta gets the goal. Well, he's not known for his goal scoring, but I tell you what, I've seen him score some beauties down the years, and that can be added to the collection. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. And here's the goal again. The opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the... That's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time. Really was a very one-sided first half, and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. David Silva. With NES, shots on here. Good block. He went in well. Jordi Alba. 
Iniesta. And it's with Vitola. Iniesta. And now the shot. It's Jan Sommer who makes the save look easy. It was pretty easy, in truth. Made sure the ball is stuck at his foot. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Okay. It goes out wide again. Diego Costa. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Disappointed with that touch. Good fault, good vision here by Diego Costa. Has to score, and he's put it away. Nothing like for a manager seeing a goal like that. Real team effort. Great understanding between those lads down there. Spain showing their superiority on the scoreline that they've been showing us really on the pitch. Yeah, I think the scoreline reflects the way they've played tonight, Martin. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? I don't think we expected this, such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. It's good work between these two. Aris Seferovic, Sherdan Shakiri. Here's a chance to attack. Made the challenge well. And it's with Vitolo. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going, read it. Advancing forward here, Diego Costa. Very good distance to the clearance. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. There's some potential in this move. Treading it through. Koke. And it's a goal here. When he hit it, I don't think he thought it would go in, but it's reached the back of the net. does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. Let's have another peek at that goal. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Granani Chaka. Mehmedi. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Here's Isco. That's good movement forward here. Crosses blocked there by the defender. Aris Seferovic. Jordan Shakiri. Lichsteiner. Shakiri, Mehmedi. Got the ball back in his own penalty area, though. So we'll restart with a throw-in. It is a change that's going to take place now for this team. It's one of the attacking midfielders who's coming off. And in that sense, in that part of the team, it's been poor. Yeah, he normally gets himself forward, offers a threat, gets past the strikers to ask questions of the defenders. He's done none of that today. Well, they're in a good position here. Diego Costa with the clever pass. Isco back out of the bar. It's a certain goal. Diego Costa, one of those strikers who's never satisfied unless he has scored. Well, he'll be happy here. Two for him on the day, and two very well-taken goals.
It is the goal-getting midfield player who's being substituted now. Well, he has put in a lot of effort and maybe was just tiring towards the last five minutes here, so no wonder his manager's taken him off. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us, perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by. Yeah, it's not always easy coming into a game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full, but they've kept their focus this side and... Uh... The shot's on! Very good piece of work by the goalkeeper to turn that away from danger. It is going to be a change here, and it looks like a strategic one. Put the corner in the middle. Splendid goal here. I don't know whether the goalkeeper didn't see it, but he didn't react, and on and on went the ball into the net. A terrific goal. Well, it was all about the delivery from that corner. It was spot on. Good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead. I like the look of this attack. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Now here's a chance. Aaron Dedioc. Spain strong to get that ball back. That is the final whistle. Well, look at that scoreline. And it emphasises what we've seen in the shape of the game as well. Very one-sided. Well, from the first whistle, they were on top and it never altered for the entire 90 minutes. Wonderful stuff. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team in the middle. 